Yet I'm hearing too many voices in my head. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. Yet I'm hearing too many voices in my head. Okay, hello. We're excited that we've created for you free access to over 503 episodes of Life's Inside Track, where we share techniques on both buying and selling, as well as insider real estate state tips. Yeah, real estate <laughs> tips. Not that I can say it, but that's what it is. Even renting, because it's kind of like renting lips. We're going to talk about renting, about tenancy, about making house home. And the great news is you can get access to them from your home, from the office, or on the go. Okay, if you're hearing voices, if he's hearing voices, do you not agree with me that could be a really, really bad thing? Well, one of those is your voice. Oh, well, then that would be a really good thing. Oh, okay. So, and what I'm talking about is maybe you, and when I say you, I'm not talking about you yet. I'm talking to our listener. Maybe you are noticing that there's a lot of opinions on real estate. Like, all you got to do is say, hey, I'm thinking of selling my house or I'm thinking about buying Buy a house. Out. How many experts come out of the woodworks at the party? Because now COVID's lightening up. You might even be at a party where there's other people mm -hmm. with voices. Right. And so what we're going to learn on this episode is what voices to tune into so that you don't go crazy and what voices to shut down, shut out, close up, <laughs> get rid of, not <laughs> listen to. Yeah, I'm a little passionate about this because... So many of our clients that have come to us, come to us in a state of having heard too many voices. And frankly, they're really, really confused about which ones to listen to. See, I'm not alone in hearing voices. True. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So bottom line is, what do clients often say to us? Well, it's like, yeah, but my neighbor said that's too low a price to put the house up on or... You'll, or sometimes they say, you'll never get that much. Are you crazy? And Are you I'll nuts, Ken and Yetta Decker? Are you absolutely insane? Because my friend, who is a realtor in another province, like we're going to use Vancouver right now, because this is our most recent thing that actually happened to us. Our friend of Vancouver said, that's the wrong price. That's the wrong strategy. That's not how you do it. Which friend? I'm not giving names on air. I'm trying to remember the story. Well, okay, that's keep okay. Keep going. You got to explain so, it anyways because they're in the dark just like I am. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but they called to say that their friend, like they're here, they're buying a house here, oh, but their friend there oh, okay, okay, that makes in sense. Vancouver, yeah, said, that's a realtor, gave them all the counsel for this market. Ooh. Right? That's they confusion. Know nothing about this market. Right. So when I have, and I just introduced an amazing client to the Vancouver market, and of course I called, I interviewed the local realtors that I've worked with before to make sure they were still the right realtor. And interestingly enough, one of them wasn't. He wasn't keen enough. He wasn't on. He was tired of the he market. Was, he was tired of the market. And he said, oh, it's hard <laughs> to find something. Yeah, was, oh, it's hard. Oh, it's hard. And so that made me really sad. Like, I almost started crying. I hung up and I said to Ken, I, I told him I'd send him I, an I, introduction, but I, I can't, can't do it. I can't send our client to him. He's like Debbie Downer right now. Right. And so I <laughs> called a couple of other realtors I knew not quite in the right area who gave me some introductions, interviewed those realtors and found one that is fantastic. And I promised her I would be there to support our client we're introducing her to but only from a moral support and from a relationship perspective here in Ottawa, I wouldn't be interfering with the insights about that market. Like whether you put conditions in or not, whether you go above or below, how long should it take to find a home? How far, like how much should I pay for a house? I don't know in another market. <laughs> no, all you know is people and right. to introduce the right person to the right person. Right. So getting one source is kind of part of this because if you listen to your tax bill you're going to be confused ours is way too high well it was for most years it's way it's too not low any, now. now it's way too low but for <laughs> don't the first... tell the tax man that that the assessment's too low but now. it was way too high for like eight years so whatever um you and... know the favorite one not to listen to is your parents oh my goodness because they're, they're they're beautiful i, I love my but parents what did your parents pay for their house 27.5 27,005. <laughs> so they think when you go to spend a million dollars or 700,000 or 400,000, 
that you're out of your mind exactly. spending that much money because right. we only paid twenty seven five for our house. And it's wonderful. It's worked with us for 40 years. Yes, and they had to get hardwood because carpet was an upgrade and they couldn't afford it. <laughs> right, so even <laughs> listening from the perspective of what to do, you want to think about the source that you're listening to. How old is the news they have or the experience that they have? Like what experience are they talking about? Even if you're talking to a realtor, if they don't have a lot of experience in the current market, I can promise you that the counsel I give today, the options that I present to a client today, don't sound anything like the options I presented three mm. years ago or 10 years ago. You know, we are so on the minute, so to speak. <laughs> it's so because in the minute. One of the things we do at our brokerage, we have over 100 agents in different markets around Ontario, and we go on twice a week and talk about the experiences that our agents are having in the market right now. Because let's face it, some agents only sell a few houses a year, or maybe they sell 12 houses a year that's still decent, but it's only one a month. It's very easy to slide away from knowing what the market's doing because there's micro shifts, the market changes in a week. And so mm -hmm. we meet twice a week and we discuss uh, the clients and, and what happened and whether they got a house, they didn't get a house, how much over the price it was, was it priced properly to begin with? And we're talking about the market constantly. And what strategies are being used. So it, this is so strategic. Yeah, we're on the bleeding edge of real estate. Oh, always. And so <laughs> if you're not listening to a local expert, what I'm going to suggest, and when I say mm. expert, I mean somebody that actually has firsthand knowledge but also knowledge with clients or they have knowledge with clients and they also have firsthand knowledge. Like they've actually bought a house recently. They've actually invested in something. They've actually been emotionally engaged in the conversation themselves, like in the experience, because if they haven't, you can't, you can't relate. Like you just can't. Mm -hmm. So if it's anything but that, take it for a grain of salt. I would say take a bag of salt. I don't even understand that. It means more than one grain, because <laughs> when you take something with a grain of, uh, of salt, you're kind of ah. like you're contemplating it, but it's not the gospel. It's not 100 percent true. And if there's somebody like your neighbor or someone that's not in real estate or the banker, the banker the appraisal. well, the appraisal, hopefully they're in the appraisal. Hopefully he's in real <laughs> but estate. The appraisal, yeah, but the appraisal is really Whoa. attempting to justify what happened. the value of what happened. Most, Most of the, of the time. time. Yeah, because sometimes they are going in front of what is about to happen or in a refinance. So and they then have you to... can't rely on that too much either well, because they... they can only do it based on history. They can't do it based on projections. And no, so, 100%. so often those are not bang on. Well, maybe, maybe not. Uh -huh. I got stories. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we all got stories and that's what we're saying. Yeah. Like. The sensational story may take over the real truth mm -hmm. or the conservative truth, yeah. right? So, mm. so if you're thinking, I just need to fight through this, give us a shout because we'll set up a custom search. You can see the data for yourself and we'll make sure you're not being led astray by someone that has the best of intentions and yet really doesn't have the ability to give you the real mm. goods. Mm. And the beauty with calling the Decker team is we've made a lot of money, not from oh. helping you buy or sell, mm -hmm. but from investing in real estate ourselves. We own it. We love it. And it's been very good to us. So thanks for the privilege because we are passionate about coming alongside you and helping you and us be positioned for generational legacy. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team.